We've been tracking the pound yen pair since early December and we wanted to revisit our Elliott wave count from back then as it's been progressing almost exactly as predicted. What you see here is our analysis published on December 5th, you can find a link in the description, and all the news back then was about Brexit and how it weighed on the British pound. But we were more focused on the Elliott wave pattern that spelled trouble for the UK currency. What you're seeing here is actually a combination of patterns. First, there's a 5-wave impulse to the downside from 195.89 to about 124. The structure of wave 3 of 3 is quite interesting because one part of wave 4 overlaps the bottom of wave 1. Under normal circumstances, this is a violation of the rules, but in this case, wave 4 is a triangle whose orthodox end is wave E. But here we have wave E, which doesn't overlap wave 1, so there's no violation of Elliott Wave Principles rules. So naturally the impulsive decline was followed by a 3-wave corrective recovery to about 156.5, which ended, thus completing the entire 5-3 cycle. The corrective rally takes the shape of an ABC simple zigzag retracement, whose wave C looks like an ending diagonal. That is the pattern which is most worrisome to bulls, because according to the theory, ending diagonals are followed by a swift and sharp reversal. This count was correct and pound yen found the top. We also saw a confirmation of the bearish reversal after the breach of the lower line of the ending diagonal wave C. So to summarize, this Elliott wave analysis is showing more downside for pound yen. This is another forecast from us at ewminteractive.com. Let us know what you think about it in the comments and subscribe if you want to get notified when a new analysis is published.